There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet is not washed from their filthiness. The Most High said that in the last days, his people would take heed to doctrines of devils. They would have an itching ear and they would not listen to sound doctrines. His people, the Israelites, will seek to please their lusts. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. But the time will come when they will not endure sounder doctrine. But after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. You are what your father is doctrine has taken over the Israelite community. This doctrine glorified the Hebrew male's flesh, just as the scripture states. We as a people need to stop operating in the flesh. We have to start vibrating on a higher level. If we want to connect to our maker in whose image we are made of, we have to crucify the flesh and connect to our spiritual selves. Let's see if the Bible agree with you are what your father is doctrine. I strongly believe if our people see an illustration and pictures of what this doctrine is doing versus someone telling them by a sermon and speech, they will begin to see how they have been collaborating with the kingdom of darkness to destroy our nation. If we can witness with our own eyes the severity of our sins, we will begin to make the necessary changes. We have to clean up our community first before we can lead anyone. Did the Most High give his people, the Israelites, consent to pursue the people from the other nations for husbands and wives? King Solomon, however, loved many foreign women besides Pharaoh's daughter, Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians, and Hittites. They were from nations about which the Lord had told the Israelites, you must not intermarry with them, because they will surely turn your hearts after their gods. Nevertheless, Solomon held fast to them in love. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them, thy daughter, Thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and destroy thee suddenly. How does the scripture define a person? Bloodline is the way the Most High classify his people. Race has nothing to do with a person's identity. Every single so-called race in this world comes from the indigenous people, the black people. The so-called black people are the original people. It takes three to four generations for an indigenous person to morph into a full-blooded hybrid. A full-blooded hybrid do not have any trace of indigenous blood in them. After the third and fourth generation, the serpent blood stomp out the indigenous blood. If an Israelite male take a heathen for a wife, would the offspring, the Israelite and the heathen produce be an Israelite? Can the Israelite preserve his seed if he continues to procreate with the heathen woman? Let's say this indigenous man believe in you are what your father is doctrine. He choose to marry this heathen woman. Their union produced this child. According to you are what your father is, whatever woman he choose to reproduce with, his offspring will be a full-blooded Israelite. Here is their offspring. He is an Israelite. Their offspring grow up into a man. I will call him Jason. Jason meet this woman and marry her. Jason and his wife union produce this child. According to you are what your father is, Jason's son is a full-blooded Israelite. Jason's son, I will call James. James mature into a man and marry this woman. Their union produced this child. According to you are what your father is doctrine, James' offspring is a full-blooded Israelite. I will call James' son Luke. 
When I look at Luke, he looks like an Edomite, according to the Hebrew Israelite doctrines. Nevertheless, if James is a full-blooded Israelite because of you are what your father is doctrine, then his son Luke is a full-blooded Israelite. How do you differentiate Luke from a heathen? You cannot because Luke is a heathen himself. Does this doctrine make sense? The Hebrew male, the forefather to this family, has successfully spoiled his seed and whited himself out. His great-grandson Luke is the third generation. If his great-grandson continue to reproduce with heathen women, his seed will continue to be spoiled. If a daughter of Zion marry a heathen man, according to you are what your father is doctrine, her child would not be an Israelite. If the daughter of Zion meet this man and marry him, how does the Hebrew Israelite males who support you are what your father is doctrine differentiate the man the daughter of Zion chose from his great grandson, the product of a heathen woman? What if the daughter of Zion meet Luke and marry Luke? Their children should be Israelites according to you are what your father is doctrine. In the Hebrew Israelite community, that is not the case. Are you starting to see the bias and the red flags? Satan is the author of confusion. How can the doctrine say whatever a Hebrew male produced with any woman is an Israelite, but if a daughter of Zion married their great grandson from the heathen woman, the child is not an Israelite? Make it make sense. You are what your father is stems from the kingdom of darkness. Remember, every so-called race comes from the indigenous population. Once the indigenous people continue to procreate with the heathen, the third and fourth generation no longer has indigenous blood in its vein. If you were truly reproducing yourself with the heathen woman, your children would look like you. Why is it when a Hebrew male and female procreate, their offspring is their exact duplicate? The scripture said it takes two of the same kind to duplicate itself. And God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Israelites, there is only one race, the indigenous people the Most High created. When you reverse the scenario, it would take three to four generations for the spoiled seed to become indigenous. If Luke marry a daughter of Zion and produce this child, you will begin to see the reverse effect taking place. When their offspring mature into a woman, I will call her Kim. When Kim marry an indigenous man, their offspring starts to return to its roots. When Kim's child mature into a woman and marry an indigenous man, by the third and fourth generation, the offspring becomes indigenous. If the daughter of Zion bloodline continued to procreate with an Israelite man or woman, the spoiled seed returned to its roots. The bloodline returned to being indigenous again. By the third and fourth generation of that daughter of Zion bloodline is a full-blooded Israelite. A daughter of Zion and a Hebrew male coming together makes a full-blooded Israelite. You cannot produce a son or daughter of Zion by a heathen. You are what your father is doctrine is a false doctrine, a doctrine of devils coming from the kingdom of darkness. The Israelites are the only group of people who believe procreating with their enemy is wise. Every other nation know the importance of sticking together. Israelites do not understand this concept. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. For my people is foolish, they have not known me, they are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. An important detail I want to stress, if a product of a heathen woman, an indigenous person, continue to procreate with indigenous people, their seed will return to being indigenous by the third and fourth generation. I want to remind you that there are indigenous heathens. Two black people coming together and reproducing together does not necessarily mean their offsprings are Israelites. Depending on their bloodline will determine the child's identity. The original people are dark. 
the Hamite bloodline resemble our people. The heathen woman child with an Israelite must procreate with an Israelite for their bloodline to return to being an Israelite by the third and fourth generation. The Most High do not want a bastard to enter into his congregation even to the 10th generation. I do not understand Israelites who say they are returning to serving the Most High in the spirit and in the truth, dismiss the Most High's displeasure of spoiling their seed. To fear the Most High is the beginning of knowledge. Not too many Israelites fear the Most High because they lack knowledge. Many Israelites seem to think the Most High is playing about keeping the Israelite bloodline pure. Do not allow the doctrines of devils adopted by Satan's disciples cause you to miss the kingdom. A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to his tenth generation shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. You become what your father is when two of the same kind, meaning an Israelite man and an Israelite woman from two different tribes have children. For example, if an Israelite man from the tribe of Dan marry an Israelite woman from the tribe of Judah, their children will identify with their father's tribe. In this example, the children would identify with the tribe of Dan. Their children would not be both Dan and Judah. The Most High did not want his people to marry outside of their tribe. We know the Israelites have a history of rebelling against the Most High. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord hath spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. If we fast forward to today, most of us do not know what tribe we are from. Of course, there will be Israelites from different tribes intermarry. As long as you are marrying another Israelite, your children will be whatever their father tribe is. Do not let Satan confuse you. Again, a child made with a heathen is not an Israelite. Now that you know the truth, you are without excuse. Israelites, do not play with your salvation by accepting doctrines coming from Satan's disciples. You should not be following people. You should be following the Most High. I hope this message will help you be successful in this awakening. When you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Do not allow the flesh to have the last say. Reserve the final say for the Most High. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free.